Good morning, class. How are you doing? I hope by the grace of God, you are doing well. We want to continue with our lectures on Maths 152. That's learning, teaching, and applying. I mean, learning, teaching, and applying geometry and handling data. So we are on the geometry aspect, and this is our lesson three. Good. Now we are going to look at construction. Construction. And we will first look at bisection of line segment and angles. Bisection of line segment and angles. Because bisection is a key concept in construction. And the term bisection means to divide something into two equal parts. Bisection means to divide something into two equal. The emphasis is on equal parts. So if I have something and I divide it into two and they are not equal, we cannot say it is bisection. So what it means is that when whatever, once you use the word bisection, then you should expect there should be equal items on, I mean, whatever you have bisected. So today we are going to look at how to bisect a line segment. But before then, let's look at something in construction. When we talk of geometric construction, it's simply drawing of geometric items. Drawing of geometric items. What are these geometric items? We have lines, we have angles, and we have polygons. You know, polygon is a group of uh, geometric figures enclosed with three or more straight lines. So we can have triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, and so on and so forth. We can also construct a circle. Now the key this thing in geometric construction is that we don't use any other instruments apart from the compass. I have my compass here. That's the, uh, the, the marker board compass. This is the compass. And this is the compass you normally see in our mathematical sets. Look at the way I'm holding it. Good. We also have a straight line. Here, a ruler. So these are basically the two instruments that are used in geometric construction. So we can use this to construct so many angles. But bear in mind that not all angles can be constructed with a ruler and then a pair of compasses. Please. So we are going to look at those angles that can be constructed with uh, a ruler and pair of compasses. We will look at that one. And that is what we use, uh, I mean, the two instruments to construct. So in short, geometric construction is drawing of geometric items such as lines, angles, triangles, quadrilaterals, and circles using only compasses and straight edge or a ruler. Good. Now let's continue. Let's look at how to bisect a line segment. How to bisect a line segment. So to bisect a line segment, we start drawing the line. So let's assume I have a line segment to bisect. So first, I'm drawing my line segment with a dimension. So let's say line P Q is equals to let's say six centimeters. That is my line segment. You remember a line segment? Good. So I'm drawing this line with my ruler. I've taken the measurements. Let me bring it down a little bit. So this is my line segment. P and Q. 
six centimeters. Please always remember to draw, I mean, to label what you have drawn. The point is P, K, O. We should see it. Then we should also see the measurement. Good. Now, how do we bisect this line? Or how do we divide this line into two equal parts? I have my compass here. This is the length of the line segment. So first, I'll put my compass on one of the end points. That is P. So I'm starting with P. So look at what I do. I open the compass more than half of the set line. More than half. It doesn't have any measurement. I mean, it should be. Then I draw an arc up like this. Draw one down. Yeah, so that is the first step. Now, after this, with the same length of the compass, you don't have to close or open it. You put it at the other end. Then you draw a line, and you describe an act to cut the first one up, and then cut the second one down, as I have. Good. So after this, what do I do? I mark this point of intersection of the axe up and those ones down. And with the help of a straight edge, here I have my ruler. I join the two points. We can name them point A to B. So if I join A to B, I have my bisector. I have my bisector. So this line here is bisecting, or in other words, dividing this line segment into two equal parts. So that is how a line is bisected. It doesn't matter how the line is drawn. If the line is drawn this way, Still, it can be bisected by going through the same process. Good. Now, let's move on. We also have how to bisect an angle. How to bisect an angle. How to bisect an angle. Now, bisecting, before we even move on to bisecting an angle, you can construct a perpendicular bisector from a given point. For example, we want to con this, uh, if you want to construct this line, this straight line, here, the line is a perpendicular bisector. This line is acting as a perpendicular bisector line PQ. We can decide to draw the same line on one point. That is constructing a perpendicular bisector at a point on a line. So that one, you first draw the given line. So I have my points. So this is the line segment. And this is the point that is on K. That is where I want to construct my perpendicular. How do I go about that? I need to extend this line a little bit. That one can be with dotted lines. Okay. Now with my compass. Right, the compass when you are using it, make sure it is always tight. Otherwise... It will be opening and closing, which will give you inaccurate measurement. So make sure it is always tight. So I take my compass on the point where I want to construct the line. I open it as a reasonable length. Describe an arc on the opposite side. So I can decide to call this point A and then B. So with this, I stand at point 
A with my compass, open it more than half of the line segment AB. Describe an arc up, describe another one down. When I finish, I take it off. Put it on the other end, but you have to make sure that you don't increase or reduce, I mean, the leg of the compass. So I'll put it here, draw another arc to intercept the top one, then another arc down to intercept the down one. Good. Now, I have these two arcs crossing up there and this one down here. So all what I need is to use my straight edge to join these two points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just join it. So this line is perpendicular to the line at point K at this given point. So that is how we construct a perpendicular at a point on a given line. Good. So let's continue our lesson. This time we are going to look at how to bisect an angle. As already said, when you grab the concept of bisection, uh, it makes the work very, very easy. So let's look at how to bisect an angle. We already know that what an angle is. If I draw this line here, draw another line, I have an angle. I have an angle. That is the space between this one. So uh, this space is my angle. Now, I want to bisect this angle, meaning that I'm going to divide it into two equal parts. Now let's look at the procedure. First, I take my compass, as I already always say, the compass, make sure it is tight, firm, otherwise it will give you wrong um, work. So, this is the point, this is the, let's say this is point P, that is where the two lines meet. So on point P, I'll open up my compass to a reasonable length and draw an arc to cut the two arms of the angle. So this is the first arm, this is the second arm. So these are the arcs that is cutting the two arms of the angle. Now the next step is that we can name this point, let's say A. We can also name this point B. Now what we are going to do is that you open the compass at a reasonable length. Place one end of the compass on point A. That is where the arc, one of the intersection of the line and the arc. Then you describe an arc like this. With the same leg, I mean the same span, the same distance. You put the other, the compass on the other end. And draw another line to intersect the first one drawn. Like this. Good. Now, I have the two arcs meeting at this particular point. So all what I have to do right now is join this point to this point with a straight edge. That is a ruler. If you are joining, you must be careful. Make sure it passes through well. Good. So I have my perpendicular, I'm sorry, I have my bisector of the angle. I have my bisector of the angle. In fact, uh, we, we, will be, we will look at 
construction or bisection of other angles. And the concept, we are going to use this concept very, very well, bisection of angles. So that is for the bisection of angle. Let me just summarize the procedure. The first one is that you draw the angle that is to be bisected. Then you, you open the compass at a reasonable length. Describe one arc on one leg of the angle and then describe another one. When you finish, you use these two points. That is point A and point A. And also draw two arcs from each to intersect as on the board to get your bisector. So this line here is dividing this angle into two equal parts. Thank you.